Angelina Jolie was grateful Brad Pitt took the time to fly to Rome, Italy for their twin's birthday. The actor traveled to the country to celebrate Knox and Vivian turning 14, but the actress was stressing to make sure it happened before Brad stepped up, one source said. Angelina's on a tight shooting schedule, on without blood, so she's relieved that Brad was able to come to Rome to see the kids and be there for Knox and Vivian's birthday, it means a lot to her that he made the trip. She always bends over backwards to make sure the kids get time with their dad, especially on special occasions like birthdays and holidays, the source continued. But in this situation, she was stressing about how make it all work, so the fact that Brad stepped up and made the trip has taken a huge weight off her shoulders, his effort hasn't gone unnoticed. It turns out Angelina and Brad's communication has still been struggling since their divorce and custody battle, so Brad's latest visit to see the twins made a lasting impression. They have virtually no contact, everything between them, including the kids' schedules is handled by third parties because they're still battling it out in court, the insider further shared. But Angelina shields the kids from it all as best she can because she wants them to have a healthy relationship with their dad, regardless of how she feels about him. In addition to Knox and Vivian, Angelina and Brad share four other children, including Maddox, 20, Pax, 18, Zahara, 17, and Shiloh, 16. Brad was photographed arriving at the airport in Rome on July 11 and gave cameras a smile in a casual outfit and bucket hat. He also carried a guitar on his back, hinting he may have made music a part of Knox and Vivian's special day. Just two days before Brad's arrival, Angelina and their daughter Shiloh were seen attending a concert in Rome together. They watched the 2021 Eurovision winner Manskin and looked relaxed and happy during the outing. They both flashed lookalike smiles and the night made for a memorable moment.